Hi everyone, today I'll be programming a key to this 2010 Mercedes-Benz C300 W204 using the X2 IK618. I've previously done this on a Mercedes GLK350, but I'll be showing an alternative approach to the procedure that I used in the first video. Now let's get this. The key on the left with the logo is the existing key which you can hear unlock and lock the car. The aftermarket one on the right doesn't work as you can see. To do this programming you're going to need the KC501 which is an additional accessory. Let's start by clicking the key programming menu and then select Benz. I'll choose the infrared key system. As mentioned before I won't be going through the add a key function under the key programming menu. This approach is more of a manual one and is made up of four steps. The first of which is password calculation. Don't use this read key password. If you use that, the procedure is going to fail. Rather, what you want to do is to click on data collection. We'll do that with the programmed key. Please complete the following. Connect the KC501, insert an original key into the electronic ignition system or EIS. Wait five seconds, remove the original key from the EIS, and I'll do just that. Connecting the KC501, and then I insert the existing key into the ignition system, waiting five seconds as advised, and then pull it out. Okay, please select the communication method with the EIS. Now use the read via infrared simulation key. You can as well read it via OBD. You just need to connect to the OBD port. Here's the simulation key, which is already connected to the KC501. I select that and then select W204, which is this car. Connect the infrared simulation key to the KC501. Insert it into the EIS. I insert the simulation key and click OK. Please insert the infrared key emulator into the EIS or pull it out for several seconds and insert it again if the emulator is already inserted. I pull out the emulator, wait for a bit and put it back in and the tool begins to read the data. Please complete the following, pull out the simulation key from the EIS, insert the same original key into the lock, wait 5 seconds, remove the key and click OK. I pull out the simulation key, insert the existing key for 5 seconds, pull it out and click OK. And it gives us the same notification to pull out the simulation key and put it back. It resumes reading the data. Please remember that after data collection is complete, the original car key needs to be inserted into the EIS, wait 30 seconds, and then the car can be started normally after removing and inserting the key several times. Please complete the following. Pull out the infrared simulation key from the EIS, insert the existing key into the infrared slot of the KC501, and then click OK. Communication starts. This takes a bit of time, so I'll just speed it up. In real time, it took about three minutes and 40 seconds and finally we have the password which the tool is going to save you don't need to copy this out even though if you've programmed other mercedes-benz keys you're going to have several passwords on the tool so my advice is just to take a picture so that you select the exact password for the card that you're programming data collection is complete please insert the existing key into the eis without turning on the ignition wait 30 seconds pull it out and reinsert it the key may need to be plugged and unplugged several times to start the car I put in the original key and it goes through the initialization process. I still leave it in for the advised 30 seconds. Pull it out, reinsert it and then click OK. Now that we have the password, we're just going to go back to the infrared key system menu for the second step of the process, which is to read the EIS information. The reason why you want to read the EIS data is twofold. First is to view the status of the key positions. Second is that it's the EIS information that you're going to use to generate the key file. Connect the KC501 to the scanner, connect the simulation key and insert it into the EIS and then click OK and it begins to read the EIS data. EIS data is displayed. So as you can see here, the first three key positions are marked as used and it's not advised to program keys to these positions. If not, you're going to lose the existing key in that position. Four to six are free, seven is in use and eight is free as well. I'll just use key position six. Now that we've read the EIS information, the third step is to generate the key file. I'll just press F2 as dictated by the legend on the left. Please keep internet connection. So yes, you do need an internet connection for this bit. I click on the first drop down and select the password that we read earlier. If you select the wrong password, the key programming is not going to complete. I also select position six on the EIS and then click OK. 
the new key file is generated and just to save it i'll add w204 today to the file name and then click ok at this point we're given the option to move into the fourth and final step in the process which is writing the generated key file into a blank key press yes to write or no to exit i'll select yes connect the kc501 and insert the new key in it i'll insert the new key and then press ok writing data no infrared key detected. At this point, I'm not sure whether it's the quality of the aftermarket key or the KC501 itself. If this happens, don't worry. You just need to try it again. I'll just go back into the infrared key system menu, select infrared key functions, and then click on write key. I'll select our key file again. That's the W204 today, blah, 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 and then say OK. Connect the KC501 and insert the new key in it. And this time the writing starts right successful. I take the key out and insert it into the ignition. Turn it and the ignition comes on. I crank it and the car starts. I turn it off and then check the original key as well. And the existing key starts the car too. Finally, I check the buttons on the new fob. And as you can hear, it unlocks and locks the car. Last thing I'll do is to put this key back into the KC501 and erase it so that I'll be able to use it on another car. Erasing is successful. One thing I should state is that the IK618 will only program BE keys. You won't be able to program BGA or used OEM keys. So you have to get the aftermarket BE key. I'll leave some links in the description to everything I've used in this video. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace.